I limit my caffeine, this is lemon water, um, I limit my caffeine, yeah. number one. <laughs> <laughs> With this, this YouTube channel, we're always doing like the, we call them like behavior hacks and they're just different mm -hmm. things that are strategies that people may use to improve their lives. And, and I realize, so you can't really necessarily comment on an organization's assessment and what you can, what interventions you suggest, but for yourself, like wh what are some little like hacks that you use to make sure that you reduce anxiety, increase productivity? Are there any certain things that you use? Cause I love when people talk just authentically about what they do and mm -hmm. and because then it then I know there's something to it because they're doing it as mm -hmm. opposed to somebody who just writes about it or talks I, I don't know why I have this total aversion to people that like spout off stuff that they don't do but I, like what are things that you do that are like anxiety hacks or something yeah completely um so I limit my caffeine this is lemon water Huh? Um, I limit my caffeine, number yeah. one. <laughs> I still do drink coffee. Um, I found by taking measurements on my behavior, if I drink caffeine after 10 o'clock in the morning, disaster. I, I, after 10? After 10 a.m. You can um, drink it before? I will have one cup before um, okay. 10 a.m., that's about it. Um, meditation, um, I meditate for 10 to 20 minutes a day. I'm just quiet and breathing. Once when, I get... when, when meditating, is your goal to shut out all thoughts or co uh, what, what is the goal? Because I, I, I'm, I'm mixed on all this stuff. Sometimes so... I have trouble just sitting alone for like three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, because we're you know we're energetic people. Yeah. We, we like to be everywhere. We're you know if you're a doer and if you're really driven and ambitious it feels like you're not doing anything when you're just sitting and you yeah. kind of get a little anxious. But sometimes people mistake movement for progress. There's mm -hmm. a big difference between moving around and doing a lot of stupid shit and like really making progress. Mm -hmm. oh. What I found most interesting, and this again comes from research for our Behavioral Xanax course, which we offer CEUs for now, um, the point of meditation isn't to clear your mind, right, of any covert verbal behavior at all. It's just not how our brains are wired. So if you look at the neuroscience of it and what you're supposed to be doing during meditation is aligning your focus to one thing. So a candle or this cup or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. Keeping your focus on your breath or one stimulus. And your mind will wander. Your covert verbal behavior, oh, I hear this bus, I hear this, I gotta do this, I need groceries. It, you know, you're all over the place. The, the real goal of meditation is to, any time that covert verbal behavior starts, not to judge it, not to try and push all of it out, but to move your focus back to that one stimulus. And that builds cortical specificity in the brain. Um, anybody that's um, viewing can look up cortical specificity and the cocktail effect. Uh, the cocktail party effect it's mm -hmm. really interesting so if you're at a party and there are 50 people in the room you and i are talking and i'm paying attention and my brain's kind of filtering out everything mm -hmm. else but if someone behind me says biscontini or pennsylvania or george washington university where i went to grad school or b diddy it, or no, b diddy like, i know that guy sweet tea. <laughs> <laughs> it's a piece of salient information in your brain uh, your attention is over here now. So we've all been in that situation where your favorite song comes on or something distracts you. Your mm -hmm. brain's like, that's a salient variable and you pay attention to it, just like an alarm going off, right? You're not just gonna continue a conversation. Mm -hmm. You're, okay, this overrides the conversation that we're having. Mm -hmm. We gotta get out of here mm -hmm. because of that stimulus, what it means, danger. Um, so meditation is really just when your mind is wandering, pulling it back to that stimulus. It That's the part that helps with focus and attention mm -hmm. because it's like, doing bicep curls or anything else, it's creating the fluency in that habit over time. So what that looks like behaviorally is if I'm on a computer and my phone lights up, I used to look over, pick it up, oh, Instagram or something, and now I look and I can so easily go back to what I'm doing and not my over behavior doesn't get carried away with that distraction. Um, so that's really the point of meditation is just focusing on one thing. And you can do compassion and gratitude meditations. There's hundreds of different types, um, but that's universally um, present in all meditation is focusing on one thing.